Hello students, welcome to Rashid Virtual Academy. I am Dr. Mohammed Noor Alam and I will give you a lecture on the introduction of the cost accounting. So let's begin with the first slide. Cost accounting means, means what do you mean by cost accounting? So in general language you can say cost accounting is accounting for cost. So important thing is what is cost? So cost is the total expenditure incurred and expenditure incurred for what? So the total expenditure incurred for product. So product may be any article or rendering of any services. Article may be includes any watch, any LCD or mobile. Or you can say rendering of the service include the services of banking industry, the services of education industry, the services of the lawyer, the services of the doctors, etc. So come to the meaning of the cost or cost can be defined as the expenditure incurred on any given thing. For example, you are manufacturing something. So whatever amount of the resources that you will use for manufacturing that product, if you add this thing, you will find out the cost of that product. So it can also be described as the resources that have been sacrificed or must be sacrificed to attain a particular objective. An objective here is manufacturing something or providing services to the industry, to the customer, to anyone. So in the other words, cost is the amount of the resources used for something which must be measured in terms of money. As you know, there is a money measurement concept in the accounting. And under this concept, we will use only those things in the accounting which can be measured in terms of money. And this cost accounting is the part of the accounting. So in this cost accounting also, we can, also, we can only include those things we can only measure that thing we can only add those things which can be measured in terms of money now for the better understanding of the cost we have one example of preparing one cup of tea means if you want to find out the one cost of the one cup of tea first you have to find out what is the main what is the main resources that you will use for making one cup of tea Example, you need sugar, you need water, you need, need tea bag, you need labor charges because you have to pay amount to the worker who will make the tea. So, if you add all these things, you will find out the cost of making one cup of tea. Same, cost of offering any services like banking is the amount of the expenditure for offering that service. Thus, Cost of production or cost of services that you offered can be calculated by ascertaining or finding out the resources used for the production or the services. So in the simple language, the cost is the total amount of the resources that you have to sacrifice on any particular product or any services. Now come to the definition of the cost accounting. So cost accounting is concerned with the recording, classifying and summarizing of the cost for the determination of the cost of the product or the services. Just like accounting, in the accounting we have to identify, we have to record, we have to classify and we have to summarize the financial information to finding out the profit and loss and the financial position of the company. Same applies here but on the place of financial information we will include the cost. So cost accounting, in this cost accounting we are recording every call that is associated with the manufacturing company or the service and service industry to determine the cost of production of that industry or that manufacturing entity and that cost you will use for the planning for the controlling and reducing such cost and furnishing of information for the management for decision making because this cost accounting will help the manager to make the decision making or to help it's just it's, it, it just like work as a decision making tool for the manager for the next future 
So this cost accounting, if you record everything, if you classify and summarize everything, it will help you in the cost reduction also or the cost planning also for the future purpose. Now, come to the objective of the cost accounting. Objective here means what is the need of the cost accounting in any organization, any manufacturing organization or you can say service organization or the manufacturing entity. So there is some importance, there is some reason, there is some causes, there is some need for the cost accounting into your organization. So one by one we have to understand the objective, the purpose of the cost accounting in any organization. First is to ascertain the cost of production on per unit basis. Means if you are manufacturing something or providing services, first thing you have to find out what is the cost of production. Means what is the cost, what, are, what is the total amount of the resources that you sacrificed or that you invested on that product. So this cost accounting helps you to find out the total cost on the production of those goods or those services. Example, you have to find out the cost per kg, you have to find out cost per meter. If you are manufacturing cloth, you have to find out cost per liter. If you are manufacturing petroleum or milk or you have to find cost per ton, if you are making something and just like coal or something so this cost accounting will help you to find out the total cost of production if you are manufacturing in per kg per meter per liter or per ton or etc now come to the second objective cost accounting helps in determination of selling price as as you already know selling price include cost plus profit so for the determination of the selling price First, you have you should have idea about what is the cost means how much amount you invested for making that goods that you will sell in the market for the profit. So here cost accounting helps you because cost accounting record everything, classify everything, summarize every cost in the production. So if you want to determine, if you want to fix the selling price of any product this cost accounting helps you to find out the total cost and according to that you will add the profit and you will fix the selling price that you will sell to the customer into the market now third is cost accounting helps in cost control and cost reduction because cost accounting records everything classify everything so this cost accounting just work like a historical cost for the future purpose means on the current data of the cost accounting that you will use for the future purpose where you have to produce again because the business is the continuous process and we are following the going concern concept means business is continuous so you have to do the manufacturing in the future also so if you have the data it will help you to control the cost of any product or services and it will also help you to reduce the cost in the future now come to the fourth objective of the cost accounting it is very much important objective and the purpose or the re importance of the cost accounting is it will help you in make or buy decision make or buy means either you will manufacture the goods in your company or you can buy the goods and sell to the customer so how you will find out this thing so this cost accounting help you in that so cost accounting records everything you have every data so if you use the cost accounting at the end you will find out how much is the cost of production suppose you are producing or manufacturing mobile so if you are manufacturing mobile and if you are using cost accounting at the end you will find out how much is the cost associated with one mobile means how much is the cost of production for one mobile so if you compare with the market you will find out whether you have to produce or you have to buy from the market suppose if you are manufacturing and cost for one mobile in your factory is ten dollar but in the market it is available for eight dollar so it is feasible for you it is advisable for you to you have to buy from the market and sell to the customer because the cost for making is higher than the price in the market so here this cost accounting will help you to determine whether you have to manufacture or buy from the market now the next objective is 
cost accounting also helps in locating wastages means if you use the cost accounting properly in your organization you will find out what are the wastage of the material how you can control the wastage of the material how can reduce the wastage of the material it will also reflects the efficiency of the worker or inefficiency of the worker so according to that you will pay the wages to the worker or you can reduce the inefficiency of the worker by training or by more strict supervising it will also reveal the loopholes in the production process or the service offered because cost accounting records everything it will classify according to the nature and the behavior of cost so this cost accounting locate the wastage reflects the inefficiency and the loopholes in the production process and the service that is offered by the organization and the last objective of the cost accounting is it will help you in estimation of the cost for the future now again the same thing the business is continuous process means you are applying going concern assumptions of the accounting it means business is never ending process means if you are doing business now you have to do the business in the next year also so if you are manufacturing now you have to manufacturing in the next year also so this if you use this cost accounting in your company it will give you data means how much is the cost related with this year and on the basis of that in the next year you can estimate means it can be predetermined cost you can determine if you are producing 1000 mobiles in this year the cost is $5000 so if you produce 2000 mobile in the next year what is the cost so this cost accounting will help you to estimate the cost and according to that you will manage the finances so you your manufacturing or the services never stops so these are the objective and that is all for now Thank you for watching this video and for more video visit rashidvirtualacademy.org thank you